The Bunsen burner, named after Robert Wilhelm Bunsen, was made popular in the late 1800s and is still relevant to this day. Bunsen's goal for the burner was to create a virtually colorless, soot-free flame of constant size to use to establish photometric standards. This creation can be found in many laboratory classrooms, from middle schools to universities, and is used for a multitude of purposes. A Bunsen burner is most commonly used for when components in a laboratory experiment need to be heated to higher temperatures or burned. It is important to understand how a Bunsen burner operates in the case of using one, as there are certain steps that must be taken to ensure that the best flame is produced, everyone is kept safe during the process, and the desired outcome is gained. There are lots of dangers with working with flames while using a Bunsen burner. Be aware of how to turn the gas nozzle on and off, just in case of emergency. In the case of a gas leakage, make sure you know where your emergency gas shutoff valve is. When operating a Bunsen burner, safety goggles should be worn at all times, and long hair should be pulled back into a bun or ponytail. In summary, here is a proper example of fire safety behavior around a Bunsen burner. And here is an example of how you should not be lighting your Bunsen burners. Also, keep in mind the location of the lab's fire extinguisher. In the event that this does happen, make sure you stop, drop, and roll. There are several types of Bunsen burners you can use in the lab. There's the generic Bunsen burner, which you're probably familiar with. There's the Terrell burner, which includes a flame stabilizer on top. And there's the Meeker Fisher burner, which produces multiple flames and is used for extreme heat or a wide range. Here's how the procedure should go. Make sure the tube is secure on both ends before you start. Twist the gas tab until it is in the fully open position. The handle should go from perpendicular to parallel. Light a match and hold a few inches away directly over the top of the barrel. This will provide the energy needed to start the flame. Position the collar and twist the gas supply needle valve until the desired amount of air and gas are entering the, bun the burner. To adjust the temperature of the flame, twist the collar to control how much air is entering. The larger the slots are, the more air that will enter the system. If the size of the flame is needing adjustment, use the needle valve to control how much gas is entering. And finally, when you need to ex extinguish the flame, turn the gas tap off completely. The 
If you are done using the Bunsen burner, please make sure that the flame has been extinguished. Double check that the gas tap is turned to the off position. From here, the tool can be disassembled by removing the tube from the burner and the gas tap and return those materials to their original location. Make sure matches are disposed of properly and completely extinguished before disposal.